Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to PTED Chemistry Channel. My name is Dr. On. In this tutorial video, I'll go through this 5070 Cambridge International O Level Chemistry content, 14 to 16 years old kind of chemistry content, to be honest. So, this is November 2021, paper 2, variant 2. In this first question, we have to choose from these following chlorides. So, before I actually uh, jump straight into the answers, I guess, it's really important for us to try and understand, you know, in terms of these name of formulas, we can understand a lot about the, uh, well, the actual formulations, as well as how to get to the formula. Aluminium chloride, you got the Al3+, plus and Cl-, minus, the metal and the non-metal. You will, of course, know more about the bonding in A-level chemistry, but uh, suffice to say that in O-level or IGCSE chemistry, at least at this level, you'll be just thinking about them as ionic between the metal and the non-metal. So this is 3, is the valency, the combining power based on the charges of the ion. And when you crisscross or you cross multiply the valency, you're doing a lowest common multiple. It tells you how many of these Al3 plus you need. So I need Al3 plus 1 of it. And I need 3 of the Cl minus such that you're going to get AlCl3 as the formula of aluminium chloride. Next up, we have ammonium chloride. Uh, ammonium chloride has these particular formulations where you have NH4 plus for the ammonium ion. So, you know, ammonium ion is the ion you need to test for in paper 3 practical studies, as well as in your theory syllabus where you add some NaOH and it's going to displace off ammonia gas, which you test with litmus, red litmus, which will turn blue to indicate the uh, presence of ammonia gas. So because of the plus one and the minus one charge, really we just need one of each of these ions such that charges cancel each other out. Plus one cancel minus one. You just need one of these to cancel one of the Cl minus. So ammonium chloride is going to be NH4Cl. It has a giant ionic structure between the cation and an ion there. Cobalt 2, so cobalt is a transition metal. Cobalt 2 there represents oxidation number 2 plus, so there is cobalt 2 ion. Transition metals can have more than one oxidation number. You could have cobalt 3, for instance. That is why it's important for us to write down the oxidation number as part of the Roman numeral as required by the syllabus. So when I crisscross the valency, this is going to give me one cobalt 2 plus and two of that Cl minus. So I'm going to get CoCl2. This is a capital C and a small O, it represents cobalt, and this is not capital O because then you become oxygen. On the other hand, we have hydrogen chloride, which is HCl as a gas. As you know, HCl as a gas is a simple covalent structure as stated in the year 9 structure and bonding topic, where you have got covalent bond, one electron from each of these hydrogen and chlorine, they form a single covalent bond, as hydrogen only need to share one outer shell electrons to complete its outer shell, and chlorine group 7 with 7 outer shell electrons, 7 of these dots already, just need to share one more electron from the hydrogen to complete the outer shell. Iron 3 chloride, imagine this being Fe3 plus to represent the iron 3. That's going to have the exact same formulation. One of the iron 3 plus, 3 of the Cl minus. I'm going to get FeCl3. Potassium chloride, just like ammonium chloride, I'm going to get K plus and Cl minus, so just KCl. AgCl is the formulation for silver chloride, it's an insoluble white precipitate. Last but not least, and A plus Cl minus, one of the most common ionic compounds of all time, something you have learned in your year 9 introductory ionic bonding. So each chloride, you can use them once, more than once, or not at all. As typical of a first question in the exam, in this particular paper, it's usually a list, but it could be more than just uh, you know selecting something from the list. It could be anything, to be honest, okay? Now state, state which chloride contain a cation. Cation mean positively charged ions and you're looking at something with a charge of 2 plus. Looking at these things which I've just discussed, aluminium 3 plus, group 3, uh, ammonium is NH4 plus, cobalt 2 is cobalt 2 plus, hydrogen chloride is a simple covalent molecule, iron 3, I think we got our answer there, iron 3 chloride, that is your iron Actually, you're not looking for 3 plus, you're looking for 2 plus. So really, I've skipped the cobalt 2 just now. It's got to be the cobalt 2 because we want the plus 2 ions. So that's cobalt 2 plus ion. As I've just shown you how to get to the formulation CO, CO2. Previously, cobalt 2, CO2 plus that. 
The next one reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide and you get a reddish brown precipitate. We know that it cannot be sodium or potassium or uh, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, those are soluble. This reddish brown precipitate indicates that it's a transition metal hydroxide, most metal hydroxide and soluble. You're going to get this with iron 3. So that is your Fe3 plus plus 3 OH minus aqueous and aqueous a classic year 9 precipitation reaction to give you this reddish brown precipitate ionic equations showing one of the ion 3 plus combining with three of the OH minus such that you get ionic solid that precipitate are as a solid from two so aqueous solution there so we're going to be looking at sources of ion 3 that is your ion 3 chloride the next one we're looking for something which is insoluble in water so there's your singular this is about solubility rules so solubility rules was covered or is covered as part of your salt preparation you're looking at chlorides all chlorides are soluble except for silver chloride except for silver chloride and also lead to chloride both of these are going to be white precipitate as stated in the syllabus and of course you also test for chloride in your practical studies and also something you are supposed to know for your theory syllabus and as alternative to practical part d was basically what i mentioned something that with sodium hydroxide to produce this gas that turns moist or damp red lemon paper blue we know that the gas is ammonia so the gas is ammonia and you get this ammonia by reacting with sodium hydroxide so what is that something so that means the ions present has got to be your ammonium ions as stated in the syllabus test for your ammonium ions add some hydroxide so oh minus any hydroxide react with ammonium ions your ammonium ion is going to uh, lose your h plus it's acting like an acid so it's a proton donor proton donor and then this will gain uh, the H plus you can say accept the H plus that means it's a proton acceptor so this acting as a base you're gonna form water and as the NH4 plus minus H plus take away the H plus you're gonna be left with NH3 this is the classic ionic equation for any hydroxide reacting with any ammonium salt and the ammonium ions that give you liquid water and ammonia gas that will turn damp or moist red lemon pepper blue we're looking for something that contain ammonium that would be your ammonium chloride as these are all chlorides there so ammonium chloride nh4 plus cl minus ionic compound nh4 cl last but not least we're looking at a chloride when added to water we're going to get an acidic solution so we are going to be looking at hydrolysis of the chloride so hydrolysis of the chloride give us an ionic solution that is acidic so we're looking for something with covalent structure that will give us uh, something like that um, out of all of these really one of them the only thing that can give you an acidic solution is going to be this hydrogen chloride i think when added to water so we're looking at hydrogen chloride and when you dissolve that in water you are going to get hcl uh, aqueous hcl which is hydrochloric acid so if i have hcl gas when i add it in water what i get really is h3o plus but you don't really learn h3o plus so this is basically your your h plus bonded with water so think about your donation of h plus in solution this is going to be acidic so this is your acidic solution as it uh, fully dissociate in water to give you your aqueous h plus ion there so that is your acidic chloride there so very very uh, straightforward there something that will give you a very strong acid there's your hcl there coming from the hcl gas that dissolve in water and you break this covalent bond in the presence of water the covalent bond gets broken that reaction is called uh, lysis uh, lysis means to break something think about electrolysis to break something with electricity hydrolysis to break something in the presence of water so the water will break this covalent bond and give you h plus and cl minus hydrochloric acid aqueous solution mixture between hydrogen chloride and water it came from hydrogen chloride dissolved in water and that's it really for this overall five marks question